So here we are on the second day of the Palmerston North Brick Show and I am lucky enough to be joined by Jay Horn, the president of Wellington Lego User Group and Glenn Knight from uh, Wellug as well who was the show organiser. First of all, let's have a quick chat with Jay. Jay, how has the show been? Well, it's a lot of positivity today. Uh, we have uh, quite a few numbers come through and uh, I think everyone's excited to get out of um, their houses because of the lockdown. So this is the first show that's uh, taken place in New Zealand post-COVID. Um, how has the, the whole COVID pandemic effect, affected the shows that uh, Well Luck has been planning? Well, uh, originally we were going to have a show in March, but because of lockdown we um, postponed it to today, well yesterday really, and uh, well we got, there was a lot of excitement because People wanted to do stuff, so I think it's been a positive thing. For well, the show, it's been great. I'd have to agree, the show has an amazing uh, family feel to it. There has been a lot of people through the doors yesterday, and it looks as though there's even more through today. Is that sort of how it's sort of shaping up for you, Glenn? Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, how's the planning been for this show, given the whole COVID situation? Well, we were about three days out when we got shut down last time, so a lot of the work had already been done. Um, it was just a case of uh, making changes for people who hey, uh, couldn't make this show and ones who joined in. So it um, didn't take a lot of uh, reworking, but um, it's all come together nicely. I think you guys have put on an excellent show. Uh, it certainly has been a wonderful weekend. And uh, thank you very much for your time and for coming and having a chat with me. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Congratulations on the show. Well done. So I'm now joined by Shaz from Parafed. Uh, Parafed is the organisation that uh, the Palmerston North Brick Show is supporting this year and raising money for. Uh, Sharon, please tell me about your position at Parafed and what Parafed does. Hi, so I'm the Sports Development Advisor for Parafed Manawatu and that is working with youth with physical disabilities and encouraging them into sport. So I have the best role in the world I reckon because I work with the best kids. So any of these youth that um, are keen to go to the Halberg Games, which is like their Olympics in Auckland every year, that's what we fundraise for and that's what a lot of this, these um, sponsorships through you guys will be helping, <laughs> nice. is, is those awesome kids. Nice. Yeah. So roughly how many kids do you have on, uh, on the program at the moment? So this role's only been going for two years. Parafed's only been going for two years in the Manawa too after a huge break. So my role is to try and encourage and find these youth. Mm -hmm. So last year we had two go to the Halberg, uh, the previous year we had two go to the Halberg Games. Last year we had a team of 36 rock up there at the Halberg wow. Games and Manawa too were on fire. Oh, that's amazing. So it, it absolutely is amazing, mate. It's incredible, yeah. So for anybody out there who doesn't know what Parafed is or uh, you know what the criteria is, sort of, is, is there a criteria and how do they join and who do they look for? Um, they can come and look for me. They can get on our website, which is manawatuparafed.com. Um, we have a free membership there, which costs absolutely nothing. Um, and it's all about anybody with a physical disability. So that covers the visually impaired as well. Uh, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, and of course, amps like me. Right. And it's anybody from the age of five above. We do not discriminate on ages. It's anyone. So you can even join us because you've got a physical disability, eh? Do I? <laughs> um, sure, if being large is a physical disability. <laughs> Um, so a little birdie tells me that you yourself are an athlete. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh yeah, okay, right. That was meant to stay under the radar. Uh, <laughs> not with me, nothing stays under the radar. So since my amputation two years ago, um, I have become New Zealand's first ever elite paratriathlete. 
Wow. Yeah. See, that should be celebrated. And to have somebody with, uh, you know, obviously with an amputation as well, like yourself, and being an athlete yourself, I think you're an inspiration to the people that are here to do the stuff that are doing things with you. So you guys are doing an amazing job. Um, absolutely wrap that uh, the Palmerston North Brick Show can raise money for you guys. And uh, we wish you all the luck in the world going forward. And hopefully this will not be the last time that we see you, I'm sure. Oh, I hope not, mate. No, we can't thank you guys enough. We really, really loved the weekend. It's just been amazing. We just can't believe the amount of people here. It's just incredible. But to get Parafed and our awareness out in the manner or two is awesome. Excellent. Thank you so much for your help, guys. Oh, you're most welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks, mate. Thank you. So here we are on day two of the Palmerston North Brick Show and I'm joined by Marion, Jacob and Steve from Parafed and they're going to tell us a little bit about what Parafed is and how it helps them. So Marion, tell me a little bit about Parafed. Parafed is awesome and I like supporting it and I just joined a couple of months ago and like I said, it's pretty fun. Um, I've done paracycling, um, wheelchair basketball and I love hanging out with my new friends like Jacob and Mira that isn't here today. Thank you. So Jacob, tell me what you do with Parafed. Oh uh, yeah, we do um, weekly activities which include hand cycling and wheelchair basketball but we also do monthly activities like small ball rifle shooting and blow cutting and timpin bowling. It's really fun. So, so far in the time that you've been with Parafed, what's been your favourite activity? Oh, um, I've been part of it for a year. I joined like, early February last year. My favourite um, activity since I've been part of Parafed would have to be the small ball rifle shooting. It was really fun and I even got a couple of two bullseyes out of it, so that was fun. Nice, good work. And uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about your role in Parafed. Right, so I'm Jacob Stad. Um, I'm also a board member and just involved in the in the day-to-day -day running, um, transporting the kids to the activities and the, and the sports, um, fundraising. So, what benefits have you seen um, from you know with Jacob through Parafed? Well, the the goal of Parafed is uh, inclusive sport. Um, and what it's done for the, for the kids who participate is provide a motivation. So at a younger age, that, that goal is to compete with Hellberg Games, uh, but later in life they can, they can aim towards Paris, Paris sports, Paralympics, uh, and that motivation really helps with the physio and the, the constant strengthening the exercises that they need to do. So. Excellent. So have you two got any aspirations to go to the Hellberg Games? Um, yes, I really want to do it because uh, thanks. One thing different, thank you, Shaz. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be wearing this cool t shirt and these cool shorts. Um, so 
I look up to you every single day and hopefully I get in the Heiberg Games. Oh, that's lovely. And Jacob, do you want to go to the Heiberg Games one day? Yeah, of course. I've been there one time before last year and I even met Eric Murray, the Olympian rower. So, fingers crossed I meet more celebrities and have some more fun. Nice. And what event would you like to compete in? Um, maybe, uh, I haven't decided, but hopefully wheelchair basketball or hand cycling or um, if I get more better at swimming, swimming. Nice. And what event would you like to compete in, Jacob? I'd like to compete in rowing because for my birthday, which was about two months ago, um, my my parents got me a rowing machine and I've been doing a lot of work on that so hopefully I can um, compete with other kids and and maybe even I won. Nice. And uh, final questions, what have you guys thought about the Lego show this weekend? It's amazing, I really like. My job is to get um, people to support Parafed and I really like to show other kids with disabilities say you don't have to be shy about it, you can be confident like us. Like I didn't like talking about my special needs but now after like a couple of months I'm out there. Nice. That's amazing, I really like that, that's awesome. What do you think about the Lego show Jacob? Yeah I think it's absolutely awesome. I mean the builders have um, um, taken a whole heap of their time out of uh, like three months to try and build some awesome creations. So, yeah. Excellent and lastly Steve what have you thought about the uh, Lego show this weekend? Yeah, We've had a great time here um, and re really quite surprised at the diverse range of projects that people have uh, undertaken and yeah, so it sort of covers all interests. Oh, thank you guys uh, so much for taking the time to talk to me. On behalf of uh, the Wellington Lego User Group and all the exhibitors here at the show, uh, we're immensely proud to be supporting Parafed this weekend. And uh, I'm pretty sure this won't be the last time we see each other. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. Bye. Thank you. Bye. And thank you well, Lug, for your support of Parafed. We really appreciate it. You're most welcome. Thank you so much. Let's go Parafed! Yes. Woo!